Hello and welcome to the ORCAD X Capture series. This video demonstrates the basic editing of the ORCAD X Capture project. The first thing we're going to do is show you how to turn on and off some of these icon toolbars, and we're going to do that using the view toolbar and clicking on customize command. Just turn the checkboxes on and off for the toolbars that you can enable or disable the toolbars. You can also drag and reposition these toolbars anywhere around the tool. Either you position these toolbars north, south, left, or right, depending on your preference. Next, we want to show you how to turn on tooltips for objects under your cursor. So what you can do is a right mouse click and toggle the tooltip option on. When you place your cursor over a part or a wire, you get that feedback about the object under your cursor. Even if you toggle the tooltip option off, you cannot see object tips, but you still see tooltips for icons in your toolbars. Notice you have an icon for the zoom in command, an icon for zooming out, an icon for zoom to all, and an icon for zoom to region. Now zoom to the region is a modal command. And what it means by that is that it stays active until you exit the command, even while I'm using some of my other zoom icons. There are many other ways to zoom in and out of your schematic page. One way is to hold the control key down on your keyboard and then use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the design. Another way to zoom in and out is to use the keyboard shortcut. The I key for zoom in and the O key for zoom out. Now let's talk about panning the view on the schematic page. One way to do it would be to hold the C key down on your keyboard and then move your cursor or mouse back and forth. Another way to pan the view is to press and hold the mouse scroll wheel button down and then move your cursor in the direction you want to pan. And yet another way is to click the mouse scroll wheel once to get into pan mode and then click a second time to get out of pan mode. Now let's talk about selecting objects in the design when you select a part. Notice a highlighted rectangle around it indicating that it's selected. It highlights when you select it, and then if you click in an open area, all selected items are deselected on the schematic page. To move the object to the new location, press and hold the parts or objects and drag them to a new location. Be aware of those error markers indicating that there might be a problem with the attached wiring as you move apart. Now, the same thing can be done for existing wiring. If you press and hold the left mouse button, you can drag it to a new position. So when you select a part, the copy command will be on the right mouse button or use the control C key, and then the right mouse paste or control V command will paste the copied part into the same page or another page of the design. Press the delete command on my right mouse pop up or the delete command on the keyboard to delete the part or objects. I have an undo icon to undo that deletion, or if you want, you can use the control Z keyboard shortcut to undo the last command. For example, copy the capacitor with a control C and a control V command pasting the capacitor into the page. You have a rotate command on the right mouse pop up while the part is selected, or you can also use the R keyboard shortcut to rotate the selected component in the design. ORCAD X Capture comes with lots of predefined shortcut keys. You can see some of them we've already used. You can select the whole part or just a pin on the part, or a part property like the reference designator, or the signal name on a wire in the design. You can use the Control Left Mouse button to create multiple selections. Use Control Left again to remove a part from the selected set, and then click in the open area to clear the selected set. If you drag the left mouse button, you can select all parts and wires within the selection rectangle and perhaps move the circuit to a new spot in the design. Left mouse dragging allows you to use the Ctrl C and Ctrl V command to copy a circuit in the design. Or perhaps once you have selected a group of parts and wires, I can delete the entire circuit by pressing the delete shortcut key. Let's talk about how the active page determines access to commands. Notice that the Tools pull-down menu is grayed out, but the Place pull-down menu is populated. 
And that's because you have a schematic page active right now. Suppose you go over and click to activate the project manager window instead. In that case, notice the tools pull down menu is fully populated and the place pull down menu is grayed out. So the active window determines access to commands. Notice the asterisks on the page and names in the project manager window to indicate that these pages have unsaved changes. That's all the time we have now for this video. Thanks for watching.